All right, today I'm gonna to show you a little app I found very useful when working on computers, configuring computers, configuring uh, rigs, mining rigs, gaming computers. And uh, even if you're gonna buy a laptop or you get a computer and you buy it, you wanna see what's on it, or you're gonna sell one, you wanna see what's on it and get the right specs. And uh, let's see, if you're trying to do overclocking, you wanna see the right specs on your uh, on your rig, on your computer, on your GPU. Here's the tool I recommend. It is called Hardware Info. Most of you probably already know about this tool, but it is a basic free download and there's some options here. But first, but first I gotta get the cursor up here. I always forget to launch the cursor, just so you can see where I am pointing. So if you go over here, uh, you can go to the hardwareinfo.com slash download. Make sure you are going to the right site. Make sure it is a valid site. You don't want to get a like a man in the middle or a fake app and install it on your computer. And yeah, you don't want that. Make sure you get the good one. Here is a free download on this one. Uh, let's see, you can do it for, oh, portable, Windows, Windows. Oh, and DOS. Okay, so mostly, I don't think there's a Mac one oh let's see i don't see one from mac so yeah most of my rigs most of my laptops are windows based for good or for bad whatever uh it works so i do have this thing get it downloaded and what i do i have it on my taskbar right here there's the little icon click on that and we'll run through it do you want to allow this app to make changes um yes and always verify the publisher, verified publisher. You can't be too cautious, you say. You got to be very careful all the stuff you download and run. Double check. Just don't blindly click stuff, especially in emails, especially in text messages. Just don't click anything. People are trying to get, get your uh, machine hacked. Uh, yeah. And having said that, maybe get a VPN just to protect yourselves. But don't click links, though, man. Now that's where you get in trouble. All right, so when you do, you come up. What I do, I do sensors only. It should be defaulted to this. Basically, that's ba going to go out and tell you what components are on your motherboard and the motherboard itself. So sensors, you know, what, what is running? What's the temperature? What's the watt usage? Blah, blah, blah. What's the model number? Uh, I just hit run. You can check the version. Boom, hit run. Comes on up. Let's close this guy out. So what you get here right off the bat you'll notice the pop-ups the balloon information these are gold to basically educate yourself on what kind of hardware you have on your uh, on your rig on your computer gaming laptop whatever uh windows based of course this one happens to be a lenovo legion 5 here's the model number one five blah 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 uh this is a laptop i have used this for laptop mining it has a 1660 Ti, and I'll show you that right below in a second. And it wor worked really well. A laptop mining was underrated as far as heat, noise, electricity use. It was very efficient running the 1660 Ti uh, doing Ethereum mining and other, mi other coins as well, altcoins I was mining. Uh, worked well, laptop mining, and it was almost as pricey or cost the same as getting a high end GPU. And then you have a laptop you can use too. I mean, it's just nice having laptops. High-end ones are really nice. I think I got this for a K back in the day, a couple of years ago. Uh, let's see. So we got a Lenovo. Tells you all the memory on it. Look at this stuff. Gives you all the, you know, even explains what these are. Because some apps you get, you have all these uh, line items and you have no idea what they mean. Sure, they're, those are cute fuzzy numbers. But what do they mean? And then with their balloon... Let's expand this a bit. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to resize the columns. Wait, watch this. Double click. Pro tip, big daddy. So it's almost like an Excel spreadsheet. Just double click on the uh, column sash, and then it will um, expand full so you can read everything. Uh, as you mouse over, you can actually learn and uh, make yourself a better version of yourself by becoming more knowledgeable on this stuff. And it doesn't hurt. All right. Yeah, if you know crypto mining and this stuff, you can talk to a little bit of it no, in addition to programming and stuff. But this people just it shows people you're well-rounded and you can talk to hardware 
you can talk to how you configure stuff. Things to watch out for on your CPU. Uh, this one is uh, cool, so now I know which Intel Core I got. I have a CPU, which is an Intel Core i7 model number. Typically on Windows, it's hard, next to impossible to find this information. You gotta dig, 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 dig. Just get this app, pops right up, and it's right in your face, all in one spot. That's why I like this app. Uh, look at that, gives you all the settings, tells you what they are, pretty powerful. Pretty powerful stuff, let's go down. So now we got this CPU. I think you can actually disable the pop-ups if you get used to everything, but it is good for education right now. This is powerful too. There's my uh, Intel running, it tells me the core temperature, which is good. You don't want those things overheating. Here's your uh, throttling stuff. Again, what is, what is um, core critical temperature? Indicates whether the core is operating out of its thermal specification. Pretty cool. So you know how things are running, especially during mining. When if you're doing CPU mining, which I would not, I would not do with this rig because this laptop, Intel, Intel CPUs are not really good for uh, crypto mining. You need AMDs. Um, yeah, that's just the way it is right now. All right, let's go down. In more settings, more settings, more powerful information. Yeah, if you ever go to sell this piece of equipment, you can just say here, screenshot, uh, screenshot this thing and put it out there. All right, let's go down more of the Intel. There's your memory settings right there. And I'm working my way down to the core, core information I'm looking for. And I know if I did this on a Windows box I built, it would actually show you the motherboard information as well. All right, let's go down. All right, there's a drive installed, a Samsung. Perfect, look at that. It's got this, the actual drive too, which is pretty cool, your bootable drive. All right, and here's the, uh, here's the main, main stuff you want if, if you're doing GPU mining. Oh, it even got the battery voltage. Wow, you can actually tell you how the battery is behaving. All right, I'm skipping ahead. What I have here, oh my gosh, this guy has an NVIDIA G E Force GTX 1660 Ti. Good little card, even on a laptop. Uh, tells you everything you need to know about it. So now, hey, I got a 1660 Ti on my motherboard. On my, freak, sorry, my laptop. So now you can go out, and if you're uh, looking to GPU mine, you go out and say, hey, I got this 1660 Ti. I'm going to go after the Ravencoin Kapow algorithm. What should my overclock settings be? You can go and bring up Afterburner and then um, set those accordingly to efficiently mine that algorithm based on your hardware. So here it'll show you the temperature. It's nothing's going on right now. It's nominal at 50 uh, Celsius. Hotspot temperature. Core voltage, I'm looking for power too. Uh, there should be in here a wattage. Yeah, GPU power right there. And you can see too, if you're building out stuff, you can see the total power draw of your whole computer by going through and looking at the watt used and stuff like that. It'll tell you in here. Just gotta know where to look. And again, these pop-ups help you identify. And you got, oh, hardware errors, none. That's always a good thing. Number of accumulated correctable errors during the hardware info runtime. So you could probably leave this up for a day or two. Come back and revisit and see if you have any issues with your hardware. Like I like like the, right now, this has only been running a couple minutes. I wouldn't expect any issues with this at all. Uh, let's see. I want to see about usage, temperature, temperature. Watt, to, there's volt, there we go, watt, CPU, yeah. This is, this is powerful. Total power consumed by the entire CPU package, including the IA cores, GT, and Uncore. This is a sum of power consumed by all CPU voltage rails on the motherboard, featuring telemetry, uh, the SVID VR, okay. Remaining rails are estimated based on activity. Power monitoring requires SVID to, an a, uh, to be enabled in BIOS to work properly, okay. You can see what the usage is here. And then, uh, 
yeah, it just gauges how much you're doing. If you're trying to do electricity consumption calculations, like, all right, I know the GPU is, you know, drawing this many watts, but what's my whole system drawing, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, or you can get a device and plug into the wall, which will show you what you're drawing as well. But then you got to buy that. So you want to spend money just to find that out? I don't know. But you can go here and do some manual calculations from a little app like this. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, that's all I got. I mean, you can go through this little little tool I use. Most people don't know about stuff like this. Most people do. So if you do know about it, please post below what you find beneficial of this tool, what you use it for, any tips or tricks. I'm just putting this out there as here's how to, here's how to fish. Go download it, play with it, and learn from it. All right, that's all I got. Enjoy.